Hey, I'm Kate Emily and in this video I'm going to be sharing how I created this email newsletter and some little tips on what makes a great email newsletter. But above all else, make sure any emails that you're writing to your community are easy to read. One thing to remember is that any emails that you're sending are interrupting someone's day. So it's not like they've actually come searching for your email, it is an interruption. So unlike looking for information, say you're wanting to make waffles because it's a Sunday and that's what Sundays are for, right? You wanna make some waffles and you need a recipe. You actually looked for that information. Whereas in your email, people are in that more that mind space of skimming through content and just wanting to see if it's interesting for them to click through for more information or if it's not something they want to bother with right now. So if you want some help on how to actually write better emails then go and download my freebie the email marketing guide which shares exactly how you can start crafting emails that your community actually wants to read. Go and download that one now via the description below. So let's dive into this Flowdesk template so you can get more people coming from your email into your blog, your YouTube channel, your podcast, your store, or wherever it is you want to be sending them. When you log into Flowdesk, it will look something like this. So this is these are just my emails that have been sent or templates I've been working on. So um, what you need to do is click on new email and then a bunch of templates will come up. So these are all really cool templates uh, that you can use for your emails. Plus they've got little uh, different groups of emails. So depending on what you're trying to create, what you're trying to say. So if you're doing a welcome email, here are some templates that are specific to that. Alternatively, if you're wanting to do more of a sale email, so something with a promotional element, something where you're wanting to make money, then these are the type of emails that work well for that. So we'll just click or start from scratch and we'll call this email newsletter template. Okay, so I've already got my logo put into my account. So this will come up every time as well as my social media uh, links. Uh, and where I'm located, etc. First things first, we'll just delete this bit and instead we'll add a layout. And I like to have a little summary about what the actual content of this email is going to be about. So depending on what sort of, uh, what you're going to be including in this email, you can create a long summary, a short summary, it might be just a one word summary, but here are a lot of different examples of things you can use, but this is the particular one I like to use. And then I'll just pop in my, uh, my summary. So to make this look a bit prettier, I'm going to change the fonts. So I'm going to make the main font my brand font, which is, and I'm also going to change it to my brand color. So here I've actually saved my brand colors, which you can do in your setting. But to make this header a little bit more obvious, I'm going to make it a script, which is one of the really cool things about Flowdesk is that they have script fonts. So now I'm just gonna change the background color to my brand color. So in here, I'm just gonna drop an image of my face. Um, because you wanna show your pretty face in the email. So then they know who it is that's emailing them. Okay, so next up, you wanna to get to the point of your email. So uh, what are you sharing? What's the value that you want to provide? So we just go text. So if this content is like a teaser to a bigger piece of content, like a blog or a YouTube video or a podcast, then just highlight the main points here with a, a button to read, watch, listen, the rest of the content. So if you are wanting to add emojis like I have here, I think they're a really nice way to add personality to your content. But make sure you always add the yellow emojis. I use get emojis to find all my emojis. Just literally copy and paste it into your email. Make sure you use the yellow skin color because if you use a, a colored skin color, whether you're fair, dark skin, whatever it is, then it will come up looking like this, which is not what you want. So just stick to the yellow in your emails. 
So in my emails, I really love to add a question because they're a great way to engage your reader and get them to reflect on what it is that you're teaching with. And you never know, you might actually get a response, which is a really great thing from an email. So next up, I'm just going to pop in a GIF. So to pop in a GIF, you just go to Giphy. GIFs are a really cool way of adding little fun bursts of personality and humor and link back it directly to your content as well. You can choose something that's really topical or trendy ending or you can just search for something so all you do is go save image as and then to upload you just go upload as an image and then find that gift so back to the template there's a couple more things i want to add and that's any other call to action so if there's something else you're wanting to promote or a piece of content sometimes i include my latest youtube video which you can do by just adding a link and automatically pull the thumbnail from your video which is great so then i just like to add my name in a script font so what you need to do to do this is just say some add some beautiful text because this gives you access to those script fonts And then another really cool thing you can add in is your latest Instagram posts as well. I like to say something like, come say hi over on Instagram, a bit bigger, and we'll add some space as well. You can change the size of these spaces as well, so make it really small. And that's it. You can literally copy and paste this template, pop in your brand colors, fonts, and start creating an easy email newsletter. So if you're loving what this email looks like in Flowdesk, then you might want to give it a try. They do have a free trial, but if you use my code, you'll get 50% off your subscription for life if you do decide to jump the ship and go with them, um, whether you're jumping over from another platform or you're starting from scratch. It's such an easy one to use, as you can see, and there's so many templates which make it really easy to get started. So feel free to copy and paste this template with these key things that I like to include in my email newsletters because these will be really valuable to getting your subscribers to click through to any additional content you have and also to just keep opening your emails because they are getting a little nugget of value from you even without clicking through to that next step. So I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because I release new videos on digital marketing and content strategy tips. So there's lots of cool stuff coming. And if you love this video, I know you love the future videos I have coming up. So that's it for me for today. Until next time, I will see you with another video I know you're gonna love. Until then, bye for now.